Howdy partner, my name is Whiskey and welcome to the Whiskey Ranch. This is a tutorial video how to set up Prism and what are the differences between OBS Studio and Prism and why am I moving over from OBS Studio to Prism all in, in the next bit. Stay tuned. Right, for this next wonderful bit, I am going to take you through step by step what are the key differences between Prism and OBS Studio. Now, first of all, as you can see, the layout of the program isn't that different from OBS Studio. Um, first of all, you got your scenes right here at the bottom. You get your sources and your audio mixer. <clears throat> Let me just show you an in, in equivalent. You got your sources. You got your scenes, audio mixer. Now I added an events tab because I'm a streamer within OBS. This you can also add into uh, Prism. I'll show you in a bit now to do that. You got your multiple outputs, which also added as an add-on. I had to download external plugins for it to get that. Your scene transitions, and then you got your um, menu control in terms of streaming, recording, virtual camera and all those extra goodies that you need to do for your stream as well you got your chat this side but this chat is only set up for um my twitch account it doesn't have a collective chat but more on that now in a little bit i'll explain why i think prism is a little bit better in being intuitive and much more simplified when it comes to systems integrated within the software so let's get hop on to prism now you've got your multiple streams you can add as many channels as you want but purely just saying add channel and you can add a list or you can do a custom which i already did for these two one is going to my website one is going to a, 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 a streaming profile that streams to twitch but because we in south africa we have to use the streaming profile to have a better bandwidth allocation that our streams aren't to jittery and so on it's just um we have to do that unfortunately and then i have to youtube um then we got like i said our scenes you can see some of the scenes are pre-rendering you can see in the corner I'm st i have my green screen there got sources what i already used now to capture the entire screen got my audio and then <clears throat> for let's say you want to have a chat going you just add that and that will add the chat as a collective currently it is showing me on youtube but um i can for individually i can have all the chats open for all these places where i'm streaming to and then also i have my alert box and of notifications which i can add here as well um and it it just as works exactly like obs this side i have my um, pre-rendered streams uh, so the the studio mode in in um, obs studio as you know what i mean this side is very actually cool but we will dive into these features in a little bit before i'm, I'm just going to create a simplified scene so you guys can see how easy intuitive um, this program is there's only two flaws within this program one you won't be able to be streaming at 60 frames per second this will only allows you to 30 frames at any uh resolution that you want to this this program allows you the, the another bad thing about this program is i don't know if it's my system but um luckily it's not while you're streaming or creating recordings it crashes but during idle mode it crashes when it's start to render and it it crash only when there's interruption on my internet line so just bear in mind that if you have a weak internet this software is asking quite a lot to stay online i don't know what's the issue regarding that but the awesome thing about it it doesn't take your internet resources away from you that means you won't be able to have bad ping and so on while gaming or when you're streaming it will also allocate the correct amount of bandwidth that needed for your stream to be live 
also it is as not as resource intensive as um obs or the others currently i'm using only 11 percent of my gpu just to record in code for, on the current setting that i'm doing and it's also pre-rendering all my scenes so that's why it's using 11 percent but I, uh, mind you i have a 2080 ti so i will have more than enough um gpu power to play games i was playing last night on showdown which is a gpu and cpu intensive game at full settings at above 70 80 frames with no issues while i was recording at the highest definition that i could and it had no issues no frame drops i locked it on on 72 frames and it was steady staying there it was just absolute perfect then cpu wonderful that's one thing i am absolutely very happy about it that my cpu usage is very low okay so let's get quickly into this next bit of the tutorial video and how to set up scenes and create a green screen effect and all the other little tutorials this is just a small introduction of prism and why i'm choosing this i'll show you guys in a minute why i'm actually moving over to, to prism right so let's set up quickly a scene here as you can see my audio is quite nice as well much nicer than obs studio and remind you as well when the intro of this video was that was actually recorded on obs the audio and everything was on obs i just wanted to show you guys what happens when i use the exact same filters and exact same setups and what are the difference so if you want to refer to the first bit of the video as a um, point of reference obs with the same filters and so on and prism this is the next part you can use so let's talk about audio first the mixer so I added my my auxiliary microphone, which is the Audio Technica 2020 USB. Um, I'm gonna switch off the noise reduction button. It's very cool. Now you can hear the difference between it. It's quite loud, and you can hear all the background noise. Now that I switched it on, now it's all that noise is back uh, away. Sorry. Then the nice thing about this well you don't need to go extra steps to arm or to monitor your sound quality um, or your sound output so here we are we have my monitoring switched on so i can hear what i'm saying and i can switch it off on the fly without having to go extra steps to do that also adding filters as easy as one two three the base filters such as noise gating compressor the default settings is as good as enough as you can hear then and i use the same filters on default as obs studio and the results in prism it's much more desirable then let's hop on to creating a scene so our scene is already created i cr by adding this it's going to go blank so just mind you it's going to call us just a tester so now the recording will go blank. Don't stress. We'll get back to soon enough. Alrighty. Now it's a blank scene. What now? Um, first of all, I'm going to create first a monitor capture. This part you won't be able to see. I just want to create this so you guys can see. All right. So this should be live. Yes, it is live um <laughs> just want to rescale the the frame all right so what i did i just pressed that button and created a scene as you guys could see and there i am the scene that i created very simple now i'm going to create a source just want to remove the preview <laughs> preview screen so it might be annoying so preview and i just remove that so you see how simple that was and we're going to add a source let's add a background first a video and an image let's go video there we go right so we're going to add an existing one uh no let's just add a normal one it's going to be my fire background uh it should be on a download because i create all my stuff on canva so my custom stuff on Canva. I'm going to create a loop. Restart when source comes active. 
and that should be there great all right so we we are going to continue to creating more scenes or sources then next we want to add our camera so webcam right there's our webcam um let's just call it can can and test so I already have everything preset it's being used by a different cam program oh, just close um this one it's closed it should be it's got let's try it again um discord we just want to close why is it using a different program it's not supposed to be right let's try it again webcam camera yo usb different program this is silly uh maybe it's because i'm already live right okay so we're just gonna add the current source that i have now we will just have a cannon because that source is ah there we go they're right so that's very simple as you could see if you don't have your thing don't panic don't scream don't it is there uh, because the software was already using encoding so i can't encode the same camera twice all right also remember if you locked in a screen um just lock it in so you can don't accidentally move it by resizing all of this you're pressing alt like that and you resize now how do the hell did i get the green screen effect why does it look so much nicer <clears throat> than when when my intro video was playing um well let me take you through the steps of creating green screen um just want to bring this one back the video capture there we are so the video capture is there so we're going to create a, a source a new source we're going to use my webcam as a tester so let's try that just normal webcam uh where's the webcam there we go that's there i am hello here's the webcam I'm still recording which is good righty though so like i said before we're going to resize it resize the camera so we can get the full extent of the green screen okay so i just want to change the camera a little bit to to fit me in frame okay so that's that's me in frame now as you can see obviously the webcam is a different angle <laughs> but we'll get into this a little bit now um just want to lock into that screen right because we're going to move the webcam quite a lot okay well it's not moving all right doesn't matter so for the webcam bit um uh, we're going to first of all have a color correction we're going to add a color correction um here we are add a color correction and now we can only change the saturation as you can see it becomes more green um, we're going to change the uh, yeah let's just leave that the camera is going a little bit wonky let me just fix that so we go to properties <clears throat> video configuration that's usually the issue the exposure and the autofocus can you leave the autofocus leave the exposure as normal it's very red i don't know why the webcam does that anyways that's why i don't use the webcam anymore okay so then we're going back to filters and just change the saturation to get it more green forget about now the the contrast of my face at the moment we fix that later and the brightness and the redness i'll show you guys how to do that uh saturation get it more green all right so that's me um, and also, by you, this is a very weak camera. So that's the reason why it's so wheel funky at the moment. Then we're going to add a filter. We're going to add a chroma key. Chroma key. Bam. Now let's just 
removed all that weird color spill smoothness. No, we'll just keep it default. Okay. So as you can see, the differences between the two cameras is quite a lot when when you have a webcam um, versus a DLSR camera. But even though this webcam is already looking better than the first bit of the the OBS Studio, this bit obviously even looking even nicer. So it shows you it's very easy to set up a webcam. We're going to delete the source. There's another way. If you don't have a green screen behind you and you want to create a background without a green screen, we're going to add a prism camera. We're going to just normal tester. We're going to give it... Oh, it doesn't allow us. So we just use then our webcam as our reference right there's our webcam that's reference again as you can see there's a big background in the back uh just turn this one a little bit to that way now the camera picks it up we just first of all we're going to fix the camera first we're going to configure the camera uh that should be fine all right great now we're going to go to this little bar as you could see and i said earlier we're going to make some cool changes so let's say you have a fat face or something and you want to make yourself look more cute. So let's go cute. Let's, it shows you little profiles that you can change. Um, I just want to make it bigger. Let's see if you can see the difference of my chin. Hello. So you can see my chin moves a little bit. I My cheekies goes a little bit. Even my eyes. I can make my eyes bigger. Girls are going to love that shit. I get a fat nose, skinny nose, whatever. So this is a cool tool, but you don't need it. Um, we're going to switch that off. We're going to go to virtual background and we're going to say remove background. As you can see, the background already been removed. Awesome. Now you can see it has some fringing and flickering, but obviously you can fix that by cropping your resolution of your um, screen. And there we go. There is one fair bit of getting that done but now let's say you want to remove the green more so we're just going to do as earlier i'm going to say color correction give it a, uh, some saturation fuck that's a lot yeah never mind and then we're going to go again filters and add a chroma key right so that's and that really is. Now you removed your background and you have a green screen effect. It is not the best, obviously, because the camera is weak, but this is better than having nothing. So, but it's just a quick tutorial how to show you how to do things. Now, let's say you play World of Warcraft, which I do, and you want to explain to the streamers how what are you doing, or the viewers, what you're doing. Um, this is a very cool nifty tool to so click on there and let's say i want to color pink so pink has to go here red has to stand here or other pink we have two and then let's say you want to fight that person first and then this one person so you can make some drawings on the stream live um for everybody to see i'm just having fun now <laughs> But yeah, like that is so simple and you can delete it, remove it. Also, you can add some stickers uh, to make your drawings a bit more intuitive. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Yay. You can have that. Um, you can change the sizing. You can even move it around. Whichever. It, it's just something cool that you won't be able to do those effects. Um, which you usually don't have on, on OBS. This we can add. You can even add memes and GIFs. And the last bit, why I like Prism. Why I do like this. This is the most, poor, most probably the, the, the biggest deal breaker for me. It's the fact that I can add a playlist to each scene. So let's say I want to go in my transition scene let's say this is my transition scene when i'm streaming and i want to have the viewers to listen to music i can add a playlist directly 
I will have a cowboy playlist right here and and play all my co non copyright music in the stream and I can also have the people to see what are the music I'm listening to so this little bar you will see now it pops up when I start playing music you see I can take this obviously away um, so people won't be able to view this but this is something amazing that the other stream tools don't have and you can custom make every playlist to any scene you want so if you want particularly for a day want to do something special that's how i do it but okay then the last bit of the tutorial of how to create sources or add sources web sources to be specifically so first of all we're going to go to a web source we're going to have our uh, web source as you can see i already have web sources like my twitch alerts my emotes pokemon shout out trovos uh twitch capamon everything is here but let's say i want to create a overlay so i set my web source and oh, my camera just died oops there we go okay so ignore um this now for a little bit so first of all i am going to uh just want to close that show you i use stream elements so i've opened my browser i've been watching some uh, bleach stuff the stream elements open on my pre-stream elements already has um been set up just the internet is so slow today um and then say i want to grab a scene from you let's say i want to do uh story time let's create a url you copy the url from stream elements come to here paste that url here you say shut down when it's not visible refresh the driver say okay and then let it load and there it is story time so it loaded into my oh shit before i even continue you need to correct the resolution so it should be 920 by 1080p remember always check your resolution so it doesn't doesn't render incorrectly usually is and there i am as you can see the webcam i can change it to different size i thought it's just lock into the screen um but yeah that's your sources exactly the same your alerts everything um your kappa mons anything that's web related you can add exactly the same remind to actually rename it like this is an overlay so if you so you don't get confused and the last bit you can add groupings to your sources so let's say i want to group my stuff together so it doesn't get um confusing so you say just web sources say okay and you just add the overlays into the web sources let's say you want a camera also in the web sources so you can close and open those things to make it more condensed and uh neat so you don't lose your shit and obviously you can move this around and obviously it will have an effect on your total um video quality and so on right so this is the end of the video this is just the basic tutorial of stuff um if you guys did like this video and like the quality of this video please hit the thumb up come and support me on my website i have tutorial videos of stuff for streaming on my tutorial uh, on my website called gameovergaming.co.za that's and i also support streamers there as well we have a live feature for for our current streamers so when they go live it pops up on us on our website as well we have a quite nice community on the discord so feel free to come and ask questions on discord as well and come view my streams on the whiskey ranch on twitch same on trovo as well i'm all over the social media like tiktok and as well on instagram as the whiskey ranch and youtube as well i have quite a few videos there for memes and so on and i'm pretty much sure you guys will like it so i would love the support and i'll see you guys on the next one 
leave some comments in the description below if you want me to make another tutorial video or um answer some questions in regards of prism because i'm gonna stay here for a while with prism i'm not moving back to obvious studio anytime soon um so yeah thanks any anyways guys have a great one and i'll always have a whiskey on you adios amigos